Good afternoon, I'm Michael McCorrick. It's always a special night in sports when a champion is crowned, and there's no greater drama than when both teams have that opportunity. Last night we had the best two words in sports, Game 7, San Francisco Giants and Kansas City Royals playing for all the marbles. A raucous Kauffman Stadium, the setting, bottom of the second. Alex Gordon laces a double to right center. Billy Butler scores from first. Gordon later scores on a sack fly. Bottom third, Joe Panic. great diving stab and play, which became a double play after video review. Top fourth, Michael Morse lines up base hit the other way. Pablo Sandoval would score. Giants take a 3-2 lead. Madison Bubgardner called upon in the fifth inning. He goes on to finish the game, striking out Lorenzo Cain on his way to series MVP. Salvador Perez, the Royals' last hope. Here's KMBR's John Miller. He throws. Swing and a pop-up. Side the ball down the line in foul ground. He's got plenty of room, and he's got it. And the Giants have won. They have won the World Series. Final score, 3-2. to two. Giants win the series four games to three, their third World Series title in the last five years. Now, we have breaking news on an often injured NBA star. Reporting live from the United Center in Chicago is Ryan Bulger. Yes, unfortunately, the rumors are true. Derrick Rose suffers another MCL's tear as he goes down in practice this morning. And the, the, un, the severity of the injury is unknown, unfortunately, but Coach Tom Thibodeau will hold a press conference in, in just 15 minutes confirming if the star will be out for another season. Unfortunately, Derrick Rose tears his MCL for his second straight season in his right knee as he went down in practice. And Coach Tom Thibodeau will host a press conference in just 15 minutes confirming whether the star will be held out another season. That's all over here from the United Center in Chicago. Back to you, Michael McCorr. Thank you, Ryan. That's devastating news. We have highlights from the Bulls' last game coming up. It's the Knicks. The Knicks opened up their NBA campaign last night at Madison Square Garden. First-year coach Derek Fisher plans to install Phil Jackson's vaunted triangle offense. They face a tough Bulls team who were welcoming back their superstar point guard. There's Derrick Rose returning from the knee injury that sidelined him last season. He'd have a shaky start. Carmelo Anthony with the steal. Then a dish to Mari Stoudemire for the jam. The Knicks take the early lead. But the Bulls bench ignited a 22-8 run. There's Aaron Brooks with a three. Now great ball movement by the Bulls. Pau Gasol to Rose for the layup. Early in the third, it's Kirk Heinrich for the three and one. Knicks follies continue. Anthony and Stoudemire each miss leading to a Bulls breakout. The Knicks would hear some boos from the Garden faithful in the second half. Fisher and Jackson might have to go back to the drawing board. Rose hits the shot. Bulls win in a runaway, 104 to 80. Now for a few final words, I present to you Michael McCork's Thought Bomb, brought to you by H&R Block. This is all you need to know about the NFL's concern for player safety. In recent years, several companies have presented models for helmets that were scientifically proven to reduce concussions between 40 to 80 percent, including some with padding on the outside to the league. Words from one insider is that one of the reasons why those models were rejected was that the sound they made banging into each other did not sound as authentic, in other words, as violent, as the current models. If the NFL really cares about safety, it's time for them to loosen their firm grip on their current business model and be willing to change the look, feel, and sound of their game, starting with improving the equipment and radically changing rules for blocking and tackling. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Michael McCork. Have a great day.